happy. Yay, Colby, the class. It's a parent's worst nightmare. Amber Vincent was going about her day when she got a call saying her son collapsed in the classroom. His first grade teacher ran out in the hallway and started yelling for help. She got the AED. Colby suffered sudden cardiac arrest, and that simple act of retrieving the AED saved his life. But it's a step that's too often not taken. You have two to five minutes. So when I go into a school and ask a teacher, a child fainted, what do you do? The answer can't be called the nurse. Dr. Naomi Cortez, an electrophysiologist at Nationwide Children's Hospital, is committed to getting AEDs in all schools and ensuring teachers, staff, and students feel confident to step in to save a life. You don't have to know anything other than take it off the wall and turn it on. It will walk you step by step exactly through what to do. Peel one pad off blue plastic. Dr. Cortez stresses there's no need to hesitate to use an AED for fear of doing harm. You will not hurt the person because the AED determines if it's needed, not you. You just have to get the AED to the person so if it's needed, it can be used. Evaluating heart rhythm. Press flashing button. Shock delivered. Using an AED increases a child's chance of surviving sudden cardiac arrest from less than half to nearly 90%. Taking just 15 minutes to do a school drill once a year to prepare can be the difference between tragedy and a child's bright future. There's not really words to say how grateful you are for someone being responsible for you getting your baby back. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Barb Consiglio reporting.